Mamzer means a married woman cheated on her husband and conceived from another man that is not her husband. Now a baby was born. This baby has a mark on him. Forbidden to marry any Jew besides a mamzeret. A girl that is like him. JC. JC is not mamzer because his mother cheated with a goy. If a Jewish woman cheated with a goy, although it's a horrible crime with a very big punishment, but it's not, the kid is not a mamzer. It's only a mamzer if she cheated with a Jew. And she and the Jew has a death penalty. The married woman, motium, motium tu anoef anoefet, it's written in the Torah. Motium tu, both of them. So JC is almost a mamzer. Because his mother cheated with a Roman soldier. You understand? So, therefore, it wasn't a mamzer. That's why they accepted him to the yeshiva of Rabbi Yoshua ben Farchia. And then when he was a teenager, the brilliant JC walks on the street with his holy rabbi, and he said to him, Rabbi, look at the pretty women over there. Rabbi said, where, where? Where? Right there. The rabbi said to him, you're not embarrassed? From all the people in the world, you showed the pretty women on the street to your own Rosh Yeshiva? He cannot learn in my Yeshiva. Not the maddest guy. What is the whole Torah you're learning and you stay like this? You kicked out. He kicked him out. Later he regretted what he had done. He came back to ask for forgiveness. The problem was that the rabbi was in the middle of praying, in the middle of Kriyat Shema. They're not allowed to hint or to communicate with anyone in the middle of Shema Yisrael. Very, you have to be very serious with full devotion and intention. So JC thought that the rabbi is called to him. He turned his back to him. He said, you know what? That's it, I'm done. And he started to collect all the homeless people, some Jews, some Goim, and became their guru. After all, he knew some Torah. They didn't know anything. They didn't even know how to read and write. People were in the street. They didn't go to Yeshiv. And then he died. The Romans killed him. But he never started Christianity, like some people think. It was way after he died, three or four generations after. The people that started to tell stories about him never actually saw him in reality. Never. It's like the grandfather of my father. Did I see him? No. And remember, there was no pictures in those days. That's why all these fake pictures that you see JC with long hair like a woman, someone made it up. That someone was very stupid because 2,000 years ago a Bachur Yeshiva would have hair like this. Even today you cannot find in one Yeshiva in the world a guy that have hair like a woman. It's against the Torah. <laughs> The Torah said that you cannot behave like a woman, a woman cannot behave like a man, you cannot wear clothes of a woman, a woman cannot wear clothes a, of a man. So that statue in Brazil, that J.C. have a long hair like some kind of a rock and roll star, that's imagination of some idiot that made it up. You know, for sure it didn't look like that. One way or the other, he died, he didn't start Christianity. Not only he didn't start Christianity, even though he did some things that he should have not done, one good thing he did say, it's written in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17, until verse 19. That's the source. Book of Matthew is one of the four evangelists. You have uh, Mark, John, Luke, and Matthew. Matthew 5, verse 17, remember. It's written over there that J.C. say, I did not come to contradict the Torah. I came to explain and fulfill more. No one has permission to contradict one word of the Torah, not even one letter. If anyone will change one mitzvah of the Torah, one commandment, or will change one word of the Torah, and will teach differently to others, he will be cursed by the kingdom of heaven. 
in one sentence, he already destroyed Christianity before it even started 70 years after he died. In one sentence, it's already putting an X, big X on Islam, on Christianity, and all these fake religions. You get it or no? You say, anyone who changed, they don't keep one mitzvah, the Christian. They don't keep Shabbat, they don't eat kosher. <laughs> they don't keep anything. They eat pork, many of the things that they do. So according to him, if you want to be a righteous Christian, you have to keep all the commandments of the Torah. Right there, you don't have one righteous Christian in the whole world. Right there. One of the laws of the Torah, you cannot be an idol worshiper, mean you cannot be a servant of JC, because that's idol worshiping. So he killed you from all directions, if you're clever. That's the end of Christianity, right there before it started. Before it started, it's over.